In this demonstration, we will walk through a basic example of how a middle-tier server application that communicates with mobile devices could be integrated to Microsoft Dynamics AX2009 using the Application Integration Framework. In this example, we will look at an integration that might be typically done by a distribution-based company that is looking to invest in Microsoft Dynamics AX2009. We'll show how the AIF can be used to integrate a mobile application for a warehouse scenario. This is a typical example of application-to-application -application integration, where the company has already implemented RF mobile devices in the warehouse, and they want to integrate that to Microsoft Dynamics AX2009. We will log on as Tim, the IT administrator. First, I want to show you the setup of the Application Integration Framework, or AIF, so that you have an understanding of how easy it is to expose web services that are shipped with Microsoft Dynamics AX2009 which can then be used to integrate to another application, in this case, a sample mobile-based warehouse application. In the AIF setup, this is where you configure the endpoints and the policies that enable integration to other applications. The AIF offers a flexible adapter model to enable the transport of XML messages to other applications as needed. Each different type of message, for example a business document like a sales order, may be sent through Microsoft BizTalk server and the electronic data interface adapter that is provided with BizTalk. Microsoft Dynamics AX2009 also provides the ability to send and receive XML messages via web services. The web service capabilities are built on Windows Communication Foundation, which is standard technology that ships with the .NET framework. These services are generated from the application development environment in Microsoft Dynamics AX2009. We'll take a moment to examine the basic elements so that you have an understanding of what it takes to expose a new service if there are new parts of the application you want to integrate with. Looking at the Application Object Tree, or AOT, you can see the Services node. This is where all of the services are registered so they can be exposed from Microsoft Dynamics AX2009. You can see the list of services that are exposing business documents. There are more than 60 services that are included out of the box, but you can add and modify the service to expose any piece of data from the business application that you need for your integration purposes. In Microsoft Dynamics AX2009, web services are managed at a business document level. For example, you will see a service for a fixed asset or a sales order. This is done to provide a higher level of abstraction when you are integrating to business applications. You don't have to worry about calling multiple low-level services. Instead, you can just send and receive a business document like a sales order, which contains the structures for the headers and lines that represent the order. In this demonstration, we are going to integrate a sample mobile warehouse application, so we are going to use the Picking List service. In this example, we have modified the service to include the ability to receive the update back from the mobile device. You can see here the operations available for the service. In this example, you can see the update operation. This is a wrapper for the update method on the underlying application class code. You can also see the class structure behind the services. In this example, we have modified the update method slightly to accept the quantity that is transmitted via a warehouse worker's RF mobile device when they pick stock for an order. I just wanted to show you this so that when we look at the code from the other application, you have an understanding of how the data is passed between the applications. Now you can see how the service that we just looked at in the development environment links to the service that is exposed in the administration form. From here we can generate the services when we are ready to integrate.
The Generate button is hiding some complex functionality. What it is doing is building the code needed to expose the service. The services that are exposed conform to the Windows Communication Foundation programming mode. This enables you to use standard development tools and technology to call and integrate with these services. You can see here that all the services have now been published. The AIF publishes the services to a standard share that was configured when you set up the AIF. You can see here the shared folder where the services will be published to. Now that we have seen how to expose the web service, let's have a look at how to develop against this. Using a standard development environment like Microsoft Visual Studio, we can consume the services we exposed from Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009 and use them to make calls to create or update records, or just read data as needed. The code that we will be looking at here is the middleware between the mobile device that we will see later and the web service exposed from Microsoft Dynamics AX. Now let's open the sample application that is calling the web service. If we look at the services that are referenced in this project, we can see that we are referencing the picking list service from Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009 that we exposed earlier. You can add any service reference as needed to all of the services exposed from Microsoft Dynamics AX. Now once referenced, we can code against the service as we would any WCF service. You can see the reference here in the namespace section. If we scroll down through the code, we can see where it makes a call to the service to retrieve the picking lists that are available. If we scroll down to the bottom, we can see the register order method. This is used to register the pick from the mobile application. This method will eventually call the update method on the web service that we saw earlier and send in the picked quantity from the mobile device.